Morning YouTube. Coffee's on. Well, only made it through the first night. And uh didn't have any wild animals come upon us, so uh, it was cool. It was a little restless though. It didn't sleep well. <clears throat> but we got coffee on at least. So we start our adventure today with our first full day. Looking forward to get it going. We're going to take you along with us. Hope you're ready. We have ignition. Coffee's right around the corner. All right, guys. Uh, no, we're not in the Wizard of Oz land. We are actually at uh, Casper's Wild 3, and Liberty Dog has a brilliant idea of having oatmeal with uh, M&Ms. And uh, here we have the M&Ms, a rainbow of color here. We're going to see what's going to happen. We're going to ask Liberty Dog how it tastes when he's all done. But uh, tripping out, dude. Check it out. We are up here at Casverse Wild 3. And as you can see, we have a camp all set up. And we are out here in the middle of nowhere. And we are practicing survival and learning about the forest, learning about other things. And as I said before, it's all about getting projects done when you come out here. You should have a list of things that you want to learn or try to do. Try to get things done while you're out here. It's not just about coming out here and relaxing. It's about learning. And as you can see, there's Liberty Dog 77 over there. He's working on his first project, and I will be soon on mine. And uh, it's all about learning and figuring out what works and what doesn't work. How hard things are to get done. But uh, here's our base camp. And we're ready to go. Hey guys, I'm going to get started on a project here. What I'm going to build is an emergency shelter. And I'm only going to be using items from my bug out bag on this de demonstration. I have my emergency blanket. And I have my cordage that is out of my bug out bag. And this is all that I'm going to be using outside of things that are ready in the forest. I'm going to build it right here. And I'm going to show you how that's done. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, guys, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out this section here. All right. But the one thing that I want to leave behind is I want to leave the leaves that are ready on the ground. In fact, I want to help gather them out because that's going to be the base of my survival shelter. Now, I want to get rid of all the branches and I want to get rid of all the twigs here. And I'm going to do very little damage to the growth that's here, if any damage at all. I really don't want to pull out these saplings because someday they're going to be bigger trees. So I really don't want to damage those. But the branches that are already laying down, I want to take care of. The other thing that you want to take into consideration when you're building an emergency shelter is you want to look up. And you want to make sure that you have enough coverage above from existing tree branches. But one thing that you want to make sure of is that they are solid tree branches and that none of them are going to look like they're going to come crashing down onto your emergency shelter that you're building. Because if that happens, then you could get injured or even killed. So if we look up and take a look at there, we see that there's no branches that are ready to fall off. Everything looks good and green. And it doesn't look like there's any problems up there. So let's take a look at that. looking for right now is we're looking for big branches that are going to be uncomfortable to lay on. What we want to do is we want to establish a padding with the leaves and the bark that's here because that's what we're going to lay on and I'm going to show you that but so right now what we want to do is we want to make sure there's no bugs, no termites, things like that. We want to get some of the larger logs out of the way. Now that I've gone through and checked the area and got all the large stuff out of the way, what I want to do is I want to pad this area now because this is what I'm going to want to lay on. So I want to bring some more leaves 
into this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and gather some leaves and bring them back to this area. And again, as you're going through, if you come across bigger sticks, take them out. Accidents are going to happen. Now I need a new rake. Here's the bed of leaves that I've gathered out for my emergency shelter that I'm building right now. And it's anywhere from six to eight inches deep of leaves. And I used my machete there as a reference point so you can see uh, just how deep the leaves are. And uh, I got about a six foot spread here, which is over the length of my body. And if I go widthwise here, um, it's about three feet wide. So there's the machete. And you can see that it's well past the width of my body. And my feet are going to be down here when I get into the bug out shelter. So just want to show you that I got about six inches worth of uh, six to eight inches worth of depth and that's primarily where you want to be off the ground is six to eight inches to keep that cold barrier from you and the earth because the earth will steal your body heat if you don't get off the earth. All right YouTube here I have my emergency blanket and the outside is green and on the inside is silver. The silver part is the reflective part. This reflects heat back to wherever the source came from. So I'm going to have this against my body as I'm laying on that. I'm going to have the green part up. Okay, this is the silver part is going to hold the heat in on my emergency shelter here. So that's going to be good. This is what's going to be on top of me. The leaves are going to be on the bottom of me. It's going to create a double barrier of heat above and below me. So I'll stay warm all night long. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie off this corner to this tree and secure it to this tree. Even though it doesn't seem like this little tree is very strong. All I need to do is just make a secure point. That's all I need. This tree isn't going anywhere as, as small as it is. It's not going anywhere. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie off the other corners to other trees. When I get to that part, I'll show you that. All right, everyone. This is a back shot of my emergency shelter that I built using my emergency blanket. And as you can see, I camouflaged it in pretty well just using leaves on the outside as well. Now this actually serves for two purposes. It actually helps blend in with the background. And then also what it does is that it seals off drafts that are going to come by in these areas. Now granted, about two thirds of the shelter is uh, secured with leaves. And I'm going to show you the front side in just a second. All right, you two here, I have my emergency shelter and it's all ready to go. Uh, basically I have Three corners tied off, the very secure edges, those are tied off the trees. And I'm not afraid about this shelter being weak. It's actually pretty good for a one night shelter. This isn't a shelter that you're gonna stay in for a couple days. This is a shelter if you're on the move. This takes about maybe an hour and a half to two hours to make from the time you start to the time you end. And if you consider an hour and a half to two hours uh, a long time it, it, it could be um, but if you're gonna need a shelter you need to stop and, and take a break take a rest this might be one of the shelters that you might want to consider now I got an ant on there right there so I just want to sweep that off with just a black ant and that's one thing that you want to pay attention to is insects what kind of insects do you see while you're moving the leaves around do you see any spiders do you see anything like that actually I only saw one beetle and I didn't see any spiders. Luckily in Michigan, we don't have very many spiders that are very poisonous um, outside of just maybe one or two. So we're pretty lucky here in Michigan, but in your neighborhood, uh, you, you might want to watch out. Like the recluse spider is uh, definitely uh, very poisonous uh, in the greater Midwest. But in Michigan, we don't have that. So kind of lucky not to have it. But I want to demonstrate now how I want to get in here. and. This here is probably the main portion of all of this. Without this branch here, 
this actually secures this like a tent post. And I've got it tied off to a stake, which would be just used like a tent post. And this is gonna keep this down. As you notice, both ropes are downward. So this isn't gonna pop off just any time soon or not real easy anyway. But I'm gonna undo this. I'm gonna crawl in here. And I'm gonna demonstrate how I can get a good night's sleep. And there you have it, YouTube. Good night.